Hey guys, Aerodrome and Velodrome Finance are some of the hottest tokens out right now, and they are two of the most highly requested tokens for me to do a review on down in the comments after each video. So that's exactly what we're going to do. In this video, we're going to go over what is Aerodrome and Velodrome Finance for folks that might not know, what does the recent price action look like, and most importantly, is that price action warranted by the total value locked and other activity on the chain? We're going to get into all that, but but first, I want to welcome you all back to Freeman Finance and Crypto, where if it makes money, it makes sense. Guys, I've had over a 1,000 beautiful subscribers in the last 28 days, and thank you to every single one of you. Y'all know the drill. If you are not one of those 28 beautiful people, please pause the video, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, and welcome to the Freeman and Finance family. So... Aerodrome Finance. What is Aerodrome Finance? It is the central trading and liquidity marketplace on base. So what does that mean? So this is the leading decentralized exchange on base. Well, what is base? Okay, base is a layer two built on Ethereum, but it's not just any layer two. It is backed by Coinbase Ventures. So that is a bullish reason and a bullish sentiment for the token. But is just the price going up or is the total value locked and other things going up? This is very important stuff to look at when we analyze the price. We know market cap's going up. If we go back to a month, it went from $0.50 cents up to $1.50. If we go back a year, we can see it's went from $0.10 cents to $1.50. But if you trend this for the last day, the rest of the market was red. Okay, Bitcoin's down 5%, Ethereum's down 7%, but... Um, but Arrow is pretty, you know, right where it started the day at. It's been down a few cents. It's been up as much as 14 cents, but pretty much it's pretty strong compared to the rest of the market. But how we've seen the prices going up a lot, but how is this relative to the actual activity on the chain? So this is what I'm wanting to look at, guys. I'm wanting to see is three things I want to look at. Total value locked, which is a very bullish thing for activity on a chain. What's the market cap, which is the price? We already know that's went up. And what's the token volume? So this is going back um, close to a year, but we can see right here is 2024. And you can see here, the red line right here is um, total value locked. And you can see that trending up as well as market cap. So what that tells me, in my personal opinion, never financial advice, but what that tells me is that the recent price action is warranted or backed by actual activity on the chain. So that is very bullish to see. And then these purple lines in the back is volume. So you could see there's been a drastic drastic increase in volume on this chain there has been a uh, increase in market cap which we all know that's why we're watching the video and total value locked has also went up so from when i'm looking at this i look at this as a very strong project and it's on base which is best backed by coinbase ventures so that's very very solid foundation for a project and when we look at them on x they're very active a few weeks ago they only had 30 something subscribers now they're up to 42. As you can see here, the base ecosystem FUD led by Coinbase Ventures was lost to invest in the next generation of on-chain projects building on base. So that's about Arrow. They're doing updates constantly. Um, they saw a new record high for swap fees on Aerodrome. That was posted 10 hours ago. They've done things to reduce their fees. And so they're really bullish and they're really getting out there and doing a lot of publicizing on X. And so that's really bullish for a project. But that's Aerodrome Finance. Let's look at the big brother Veladrome Finance. Veladrome Finance is also the leading centralized trading and liquidity on Optimism. Again, that means it's the leading decentralized exchange this project is I believe almost two years old and it is the big brother to aerodrome finance um, I get into that a little more in another video y'all should check that out but long story short it's the decentralized exchange on optimism which is also a layer two built on Ethereum well how is this price look so if we're going back one month it was around 10 cents and it hit a high of almost 40 cents 37 cents and now it's currently at 26 cents so it didn't have that blast off such as aerodrome finance had that really just blasted off in total market cap and single token price if you go back let's look at how this holds up a day and when you look 
this is very similar to Aerodrome Finance. And what I mean by that is it's about, it's actually up a little bit from where it started the day. Whereas if we look at the total market, Bitcoin's down 5%, Ethereum's down 7%, BNB is down 5%, XRP is down 7 Solana's down almost 4 Cardano's down 10 So a lot of the market is red. However, these two tokens are holding pretty strong relative to everything. But let's take a look at Veladrome Finance on um, DeFi Llama. So as we know, Veladrome Finance has been around a while, okay? Unlike Aerodrome Finance, which is a little newer, being on base. But let's look here, guys. The blue right here is total value locked. The market cap is the red. And then green is token volume. So we can see here, let me zoom in a little bit. We can see here volume has went up since March, okay? And it was also listed on Coinbase back in around that time, <clears throat> maybe end of February, early March. But if we kind of zoom out a little bit, we can see that total value lot has actually went down from last year. Yet the token price has went up drastically it went from a total value locked of in let's see the high when they had total value locked was mm, 32 million dollar market cap and it's went up to it's currently about 90 million dollar market cap yet the total value locked has went down so does that mean it's a bad thing in my personal opinion Opinion, no, but it's also not the most bullish thing. Whereas on Aerodrome Finance over here, guys, we've seen active price going up, but also total value locked on the chain going up. So it made sense. Hey, more people are using this. There's more TVL. The price of the tokens going up. Whereas on Veladrome Finance, it's not as hyped. The price is going up over the last month, but we didn't necessarily see that with the uh, TVL. So like I said, that is not indicative of a bad project or something like that. And it could have been undervalued last year, right? Who knows, in the bull market. But it just does not match up the same as Aerodrome Finance. But I've got to say, what they do with the community is very similar to Aerodrome Finance, right? It makes sense. But they they are very active. They talk about their rewards update, the different percentages between the different um tokens adoption of circles usdc is now on velodrome so they're definitely making improvements to the chain and they're definitely doing a lot of activity on social media trying to get their name out of there and everything so man i'm really excited about aerodrome finance and velodrome finance guys i want to remind you all about my 500 cast giveaway that's happening on the day of the bitcoin having all you have to do that's 18 days away all you have to do is be subscribe to me on youtube follow me on x and share this video on x or retweet the video that's all you got to do how if you retweet 10 videos you'll be entered 10 times if you retweet one video you'll be entered one time if you do it zero times i still love you don't worry but guys as always i want to thank you all for joining freeman finance and crypto where if it makes money it makes sense please watch one of these two videos up above and if you didn't already click the subscribe button man hey i love you all thanks for everything